Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and today I'm going to open up some Briar packages that have been piling up around here and talk about the 2023 Briar Fest special run models. Let's get started. Briar has spent virtually every day of the last couple of weeks giving us either sneak peeks or full reveals of special runs from this year's Briar Fest. This is all in their kind of traditional lead up to tickets going on sale, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. They've kind of tweaked the ticket structure once again this year. So keeping track of how all of that works is going to be a little confusing. But <laughs> The, the most important thing right now is getting to see all of the cool stuff that will be available for either in-person or online attendees of Briarfest. While we kind of go through what they've already showed us, um, I will just say that Briar is still releasing sneak peeks. As a matter of fact, this morning they just released another one. So this video is going to not con include every single one because they're, they're just not out yet. I'll talk about the rest of them later. The first model that Briar always releases for Briarfest is the Celebration model. And this year it is a portrait of a driving horse, uh, Bravor 54. And I'm sorry, I don't know everything about the, the actual real horse. If you want to learn more, probably the best place to go is the Briarfest blog because Briar has all of that information. And I'm opening a great big box in case that wasn't <laughs> clear. Um, the model that they have chosen, which is what I'm more inclined to talk about on this channel, is the old uh, Christian Hess Tricaner mold. They've done the full portrait. It's a beautiful bay, and I really, I really think that it's going to look very nice once we see it in person. The Hess molds are not everybody's favorite. <laughs> um, I have a bit of a soft spot for, for the Tricaner, probably because when I was in high school and college, I owned a Tricaner. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting this model and actually seeing the real horse. In the past, Briar has had something that they called single day stable mates. Of course, if anybody, if you've all looked at the Briar website or anything else, you know that Every three day ticket holder gets the celebration model. They get the, the Bravor model. And I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> anyway, uh, now they don't call them three day or they don't call them single day stable mates anymore. They call them event stable mates. And I'm sure that that's because they have changed the ticket structure so much that single day isn't much of a thing anymore. Um, but they have released what those are going to be, and I'm very excited. They have an amazing group of them. Uh, they start off with Navigator. That is the g second generation stablemate American saddle bred in a lovely, it looks like chestnut pinto. We might, it might wind up being a little different color when we actually see it. Um, but it looks super cute. The next one that they showed us is Teamster. Teamster is on the, I want to say that's the Irish Cobb mold. I might have that wrong. It's one of the new molds that came out with the Stablemate Club. Speaking of which, that's what I'm opening right now, our Stablemate Club models. <laughs> but this one is a very shiny looking Palomino or Dunn. Um, once again, Briar's pictures kind of, you can kind of go either way with that coloration. Once we see him in person, we'll all know for sure what the color's supposed to be. Um, he does look pretty metallic in the pictures, which I know some people like and some people don't. Um, I really don't have an issue with that on the stalemate, so I'm looking forward to that. The next one that they've showed us is Wheeler. Wheeler is on the new, and this is good timing, the, the new, um, I want to say it's a halflinger mold is what they're calling it. Wheeler does appear to be glossy, which you know makes me very happy. And he's a just a very simple shaded bay. And I say that like it's a bad thing, but it's not. I am a huge fan of very simple bays, um, especially when Briar put some glosses on him. I didn't realize that this guy had stars. 
on him. So that's interesting. It's a, a definitely a choice that Briar made for this model, but I am looking forward to getting him in Bay. I think that'll be really cool. The last of the event stable mates is called Whip. Whip is on the miniature uh, Brishin mold up here, the furry one. He's some kind of roan pinto. It looks to me like maybe a bay roan because I think that the little front forelock piece here is black. But you could tell me he's a number of different roans and I'd be, <laughs> I would completely believe you. So looking forward to all of those. Those are going to be available for two or three different varieties of ticket and I might talk about tickets at a later date but I don't quite have the new structure figured out yet so I'm not going to even attempt to act like I know what I'm doing when it comes to that. I guess I'll just move up in scale. We talked about stable mates. Let's talk about classics. Uh, Briar released one just this morning. Uh, the special run classic. Usually that one's in the pop-up shop or the uh, small briar stores, kind of depending on how they do that this year. It does say that it's available to all ticket holders, which really puts it under the limited edition category, which is great. Um, the horse is not quite Copenhagen, like the old style briar Copenhagen. It's a much lighter color. It is called, the model is called Delft. It's made to mimic Delft pottery or Delft ceramics. <clears throat> it has a, an emblem on the back of it that looks like a, a horse pulling a carriage. It's kind of cute. It's on the new uh, classic or freedom series Morgan mold. So I'll look forward to seeing that one in person. I'm always a little skeptical of decorators, but it does look pretty cute. But I think I'm going to move on to traditionals now, since I have three traditional size boxes to open. And first I'll talk about the ones that are available to all Briarfest attendees, regardless of what kind of ticket. Uh, those are the limited edition models. Typically these are portraits of model of real horses that are going to be guests at Briarfest. This year doesn't appear to be any different. Briar has released two of those so far. One of them is, and forgive me with the names again, Via Latia, I believe. It is the absolutely stunning real horse, the all white um, pacer or racing horse, Trotter. It's a trotter. I'm sorry. It is on the brand new. Oh, this is um, Gabriel. So there was a chance it was a different color. Look, it's green. <laughs> the um, they've chosen the new Constantia uh, Premier Club model to put this on. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is as the real horses. It's all white. It's got some really nice shading. It looks like I'm excited to get a hold of that one. So we will enjoy seeing that. Here he is. The other one that they've released, I am in love with. <laughs> it's the real horse is called HD Harkness. Um, I think on the blog they said they call him Hark, which is great. I can pronounce that. <laughs> he is on the Troubadour mold, the Trotting Morgan. And he's in one of my favorite colors, as we just talked about, a beautifully shaded kind of red bay. So I'm very much looking forward to bringing that guy home. Not that I'm not looking forward to the others, but I do think right now he might be my favorite. So let's move on to the special runs. Calling these special runs is kind of a misnomer because all of the horses that I've talked about up to this point are special runs for Briarfest. Um, Briar just chooses different names for them, uh, probably to make it easier to describe what comes with the ticket. The ones that I'm talking about now are the models that you get a, a ticket for. In the past, you've had to line up. Now you do the preference sheet online. These are the ones that you can only get if you have a three-day ticket in some fashion, be it online or whatever. I will say that I've been reading how these are available as um, Briar has released them. And they very specifically said that some of these are available online and some of them just say will be available to 
VIP and all access holders. So I'm not sure if they're going to try and make some of them limited only to the folks who actually go to the park. That's what it sounds like to me, but they haven't quite made that clear yet. So we'll hold off judgment. Uh, instead, we'll just talk about how pretty they are. Uh, <laughs> the first one I'm going to talk about is, um, this is the animal box. I just want you guys to see it. The first one I'll talk about is the one that we really don't know all that much about and that I'll spend probably a lot of time on later. And that's the surprise model. We all know they're going to do it. We all know that they're not going to tell us what it is. Um, although if it works out like last year, Khaleesi will tell us when it comes time. <laughs> um, no, that's the, that's the surprise. They've showed us the logo. It's called the Stagecoach Surprise. And... Um, that's really all we know about it. Moving on though, they have released four other of the ones that they're calling the special runs. Um, I don't have them in the order they released them. I can't remember it offhand. I'll start with Surrey and Axel. Surrey and Axel are uh, a Marin Colt set. They are one of the ones that's noted as um, available online. They are Lady Phase. And the standing stock horse bowl in two absolutely gorgeous Appaloosa patterns. So I'm excited about that. Um, Lady Phase looks more like a variation on a leopard Appaloosa. And the foal is definitely a blanket in kind of a bay or a darker color. So those are going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I do think it'll be interesting to see how popular they are because Lady Faye's kind of goes in waves for popularity. Part of it, I think, is just because of the way the mold has degraded over the years. Um, if you guys have never seen an original Lady Faye's, like from the original release versus one that was released very recently, um, you really should grab the two of them and look at them together. The original one has much sharper, more defined ears. And as the mold has been used so often in the past, her ears have kind of shrunk. Uh, it's just the mold lost, de lost some definition. There are other pieces of it that have also lost definition. Um, I don't think that's really something Briar can fix, although it would be great if they could. <laughs> um, but all of that said, it's going to be interesting to see how popular they are, but I do think that Briar knocked it out of the park with the paint job. There's one other that Briar has marked down as um, for online. Oh, and the surprise model was for online as well. I don't think I said that. This is um, Araba, or Araba. I'm not 100% sure. It is uh, the new standing Arabian mold that came out for the Premier Club this past year. They have put it in an absolutely stunning black pinto. It's probably supposed to be Sabino or something. I'm not going to try and define what that color is. I'm just going to say that it's absolutely lovely. I have, <laughs> I have some opposition to them continually putting pinto markings on Arabian molds because it kind of limits how you can show them. But this horse is gorgeous and I'm a sucker for a black pinto. So <laughs> I kind of love it. Anyway, the next one is a, um, is a mold that I adore. And it was probably the only sneak peek the Briar's ever done where I didn't have any doubts about I know what this is when they put the, the salt mall picture. That's, um, I think it's Peanutine. Peanutine. I, again, Briar's names. I'm gonna call him Peanut. It's Peanut, the, um, Bridey in a kind of brown, more brown Pinto than they've done in the past. A lot of the other Pintos they've done on that mold have a kind of gray look to them. This one looks to be very brown. Um, but it's got a Gorgeous little pinto pattern. The mold is the absolute best, and I desperately want one. I will say when they released him, that's not one of the ones that had the mark that online ticket holders could get him. 
I'm sure that's going to come up later. It, and they might change their minds about how they're doing that, but that's what we have. So the last one is, I believe, called Spios. It is the brand new Premier Club uh, Andalusian, or I'm thinking it's an Andalusian, in a really just fiery red chestnut. And the sound that you're hearing is me trying to break the tape on this box, because this box contains, with all the noises that that entails, um, my copy of this horse. So I haven't actually seen the mold even in person. I am doing everything based wholly on the pictures online. Oh, this came with him. This is the Animar drawing. That's really cute. Um, so I haven't seen him in person. I'm looking forward to this. I will say that based on the pictures that I've seen of other folks opening theirs or just posting pictures, he is absolutely stunning. I really like the gray that they chose for this Premier Club, but that chestnut is to die for. So I'm decidedly on board with, I want the chestnut. Oh, that's right. He's got the... He also has a little ride along uh, stable mate in with him. I forgot about that. I wrapped him in the same box, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, that is everything Briar has told us about up to this point. There will probably be three or four other um, special runs released, depending on if they do eight or nine or if they add another. There's kind of what you see just out of the box. There will certainly be a, a crystal, or at least they have in the past traditionally given us a crystal. Yeah, you put this guy in that red chestnut and I'm gonna go crazy. It's a beautiful horse. There'll, there'll be an event stable mate usually that's a special run stable mate as opposed to the um, not single day stable mates. Here's the little bag to this guy. I, and I'm not 100% sure what else. Um, they tend to throw in a few things that are new or different. Um, there'll probably be a plush. There's usually a plush. That could be a lot of fun. I'm envisioning the like traditional PAL plush in like racing silks. That might be fun. But there's a, there's a lot more to come and I will certainly take some time to talk about it. There we go. That's the mini George. Look how cute he is. Okay. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, comment below which, with which one of the models that Briar's released so far is your favorite. And um, make sure you're subscribed because Briarfest is starting early this year and I will definitely have more videos from the Briarfest blog right here. Otherwise, you guys just have an excellent new year and I will see you soon. Bye. Uh, don't eat that. Hey, no, don't eat that. That's not for kittens. Khaleesi is being very helpful while I'm filming and is trying to eat the packaging that some of these models came with, including the big cardboard box that I was just opening. She's lucky she's cute.